Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI and our Eight Ages of Chimera series. If you're watching this, then you have been... I'm very jealous of you, actually, if you're watching this, because you've been enjoying me play Rise and Fall. I'm jealous of me, too, because I'm recording this before Rise and Fall comes out. But we're going to finish a series that we started before Rise and Fall that we've really been putting a lot of effort into uh, from a religious victory standpoint, uh, and that is Eight Ages of Chimera. So you might also be here as a new subscriber to the channel, uh, watching for the first time, wondering what's going on with Scotland. If you missed me saying it in the Scotland series, essentially I was going to do two episodes a day, but normally what I do for my historical strategy is one a day at noon, and because the celebratory period for Rise and Fall is now over, I wanted to finish this series as well. So this is some pre-Rise and Fall vanilla Civ Six Let's Play, finishing up a religious series, religious victory as Khmer. And the fun thing is, we're actually racing the culture victory timer. Right now, we're 150 away <laughs> from getting a cultural victory. Um, I mentioned early in the series that this is, you know, a very strong cultural sieve, and we have also had a lot of focus on culture throughout the game, um, stealing great works and doing a few other things, mainly just to make sure that, like, Congo, when they still existed down here, you can see all these Congo cities that are now ours, uh, could, you know, didn't take the culture victory themselves, because we're playing on Emperor difficulty, for God's sake, and it, Congo on Emperor is just going to make it that much faster to uh, that kind of uh, culture runaway victory. So we managed to, to get that done, and now we're just trying to get a religious victory before our automatic culture victory kicks in. Wish me luck. I'm going to take this modern, ar modern armor army here, and I suppose what we will do... Do I want to attack Bergen? I don't know. I just feel like I don't have the reinforcements to attack Bergen. I kind of just want to ride up here and pillage more stuff. It's just a farm, but I'll pillage it. Okay, this rocket artillery doesn't have much to do either, so I think what I'm going to do with you is put you back into Mbanza Mbata. What I can, you know, can I purchase a... Not quite. Observation balloon costs 860 gold. Maybe next turn I'll purchase an observation balloon for this guy, because that would make it easier for him to hit some of these other units and support these units in battle near um, some of these Norwegian cities we're attacking. We're a few turns away from making peace with Norway. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and set up a farm there for Nagara Jayasri. Oh, nice! You're finally done. That only took you forever and a day. Let's go ahead and army you guys up, and then we'll send you up there to help take uh, Namsos in a bit. Yeah, this this destroyer didn't really get hit that hard. I suppose what I can do is attack again, and they'll at least get a promotion, it seems like, because that was just the experience from one attack on Namsos. So at least I can level these destroyers up slightly. Hey, I predicted the future, guys. Oh, you know what I can do? I can totally attack from there, too. So I can bring this one over here and do the same thing. It's not hurting the city, but it's going to help my destroyers level up. And it will make them more powerful. There we go. Alright, this guru is not going to have anything to do, I don't think. Yeah, you just need to stay right there and heal. Well, not sleep, but... For whatever reason, I can't give them to skip turn. Every now and then in Civ 6, you can't give the order to just hit spacebar and skip a turn like normally. It's really strange. I don't know what the explanation is. Alright, I'm trying to get to this Inquisitor here, this Indonesian Inquisitor. See if we can weaken their religious hold on the area. Well, they don't have a religious hold on the area, but I want to try and get... We have a debater apostle here that should be able to hold their own against an Inquisitor. Even an Inquisitor in his own religious territory. Should be okay. Speaking of debaters, excellent. Let's go ahead and get this one into position. Because we are going to need debaters in our fight against Germany. You are a chaplain. Um, I do need you in place as well to help ensure that these units stay alive. So, unexpectedly, when I moved a bunch of religious units uh, into the Frankfurt area last episode, I discovered that there were some Inquisitors nearby. Okay, this is going to be a moment of truth for this this tank. He rushed in and and uh, yeah, he if something else decides to attack him this turn, I might lose that level three modern armor army, and I'm going to be pissed. But oh no, nope. holy crap, we're going to get away. We are going to get away. I was not expecting that. All right, some. Never plan the future. Oh, I got some gold too. Past. Excellent, 588 you gold from Hamar. Plan, you can yeah, yeah, Sean, future. you've said that three times. So, let's go ahead and buy an observation balloon. And now, look what we can do with our rocket artillery. 
A couple different things we can do, actually, but I'm going to start by firing on this mechanized infantry. And then what I can do is actually roll this, um, this tank over and have them pillage that farm for some health. And then we'll have the helicopter attack the infantry army there. That artillery might pose a bit of a threat, but I'm not terribly worried. All right, let's pillage that spaceport. Say goodbye to your spaceport, Bergen. And, oh, hello. You are an idiot. So Norway has, I don't think we've lost a single unit. Now that I've said that, we'll lose one, but I don't think we've lost a single unit in our war with Norway. This destroyer is promotable. Extra combat strength versus naval units or extra movement. Which which side do I want to go down? Yeah, let's give him Embalon because reinforced hull would be better to have sooner. Okay, and then we'll continue to fight with you, get you a promotion. So that worked out well. Come on, destroyer. Hurry up. There you go. Good job. Thanks for being expedient. Okay, this jet fighter's promotable too. Extra combat strength when defending versus anti-air. Yeah, let's do that. Give them cockpit armor. And then this spy. Oh, cool. Sarpsborg spy leveled up. We can give them quartermaster. We already have a quartermaster, though. So, cat burglar I don't really want because we're not stealing great works really anymore. Um, well... If we want to prevent someone else from getting the culture victory, how close is anyone else? I don't think anyone else is close. Yeah, no one else is remotely close because they have to compete with me. So I'm not worried about that. Let's... You're already... You have disguise. I guess I'll... I guess quartermaster, I suppose. All right, this is our new apostle. Order can spread religion two extra times. Very good. Future civic... Now, Portsmouth is very, very handy because it's this central production powerhouse of a city. I can go ahead and do Holy Site Prayers here if I wanted to. Anything else? Yeah, let's do Holy Site Prayers. It's a fully built out city right in the heart of my territory. Let's go ahead and purchase. Can I get? Yes, I can. Awesome. All right, tell you what, I'm going to do this again. I know I've been trying to... I'm saying that I've been saying in past episodes that I really want to get as many apostles built as possible, but I'm also spending a lot of faith on new Dara Mares and new holy dis holy site districts. But that's because that will improve my faith per turn, and we're now over a thousand faith per turn. I feel like we were earlier in the series too, and then inexplicably we dropped. I never discovered the explanation for that. Maybe we talked about it at the time and I forgot. But um, all right, so Kish can also build something here, and I kind of. I mean, I could do a research lab. I don't need the science anymore, but the gold, because we have a policy that helps with that economically. Plus four gold from each research lab. Gold could come in handy. Four gold by itself is not a lot, but doing that in all of my cities, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I feel like in a lot of my cities, I'm going to start doing these, these projects. Or new districts, whenever I can build new districts. But for now, let's do industrial zone logistics, because we there are some more great engineers left. Oh, hello. You can build a stadium, can you? Go ahead and do that. I'm not particularly worried. Okay, wait. Hang on, we've got some religious combat to do. Everyone's favorite theme is now playing. And by everyone's favorite, I mean no one's. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously kidding. I'm sure there's some Macedonian nationals that this theme means a lot to. Um, I, I just can't help but think that when they were... Recording this arrangement, they were like, okay, Alexander is a character that, like, everybody hates. In 5, everybody hated him. In 6, everybody hated him. Historically speaking, he's a great, like, he's, he's a, you know, magnificent figure. But the character of Alexander the Great in Civilization 5 and 6 is, you know, despised. And so I, I can't help but think if, like, Jeff Kinnor, when, when composing this, I think it was Jeff Kinnor that did it, was, was like, what, what if we did a theme that everyone would equally despise? I don't know. I'm probably just being mean, but... Alright, let's go ahead. You've got one more spread. Let's just use you... Well, hang on. Before I do that, let's see if we can win some religious combat. You are a martyr. Yeah, this guru healed that guy from the last religious combat, which is really annoying. But I think I have a debater in the area, right? Yeah, I do. So here's how this is going to go. I want to go ahead and move this religious unit... Let's get this debater out. Oh, did that thing again. All right, 
fine. Oh my god, I think we're killing him. Excellent. Alright, so that's one religious unit down. Fantastic. Okay, wasn't expecting that. It's a huge win. So let's move this guru up. And we do need... Yeah, this martyr... I can't use another spread with this martyr, but... I'll use this translator again. Frankfurt is still resisting a little bit, but now they have five Mahayana followers. And then, again, this is... We need to go ahead and attack this uh, guru, probably. Let's do that. Did it again! Game keeps lying to me. Stacking my units up. Alright, so... Khmer Rocket Artillery Army. Oh, that's right, I was going to move you down here, and that puts you in range of a couple of different places. Let's have you fire there, because you need the experience more than anyone. We'll have you fire on Preslav. And maybe you'll both get promotions. That'd be nice. Well, you won't, but maybe you will. Nope. Neither of you. Now I'm sad. Alright, let's bring this modern anti-tank unit down here to head off that, uh, that artillery. That's making me a little bit nervous. Okay, so this is our tank that healed up last turn, and now we can annihilate this infantry. Or we can annihilate this guy. We can annihilate a couple of different units. Let's see. Who would be better to attack? Yeah, let's go ahead and weaken this unit here. Done. They are an anti-tank unit, but they, they're just... Against a level 3 modern armor army, they, they don't... I don't think they have what it takes. Siphon funds. Take some more money, please. Alright, we have another martyr with multiple spreads ready to go. Loving every second of it. All right, and you are a chaplain. So I need to move you... I guess here? Okay, so... Just healed those two religious units. Now this rocket artillery unit... I thought you already fired, but I suppose you haven't. Fire on Preslov, then. I don't think you'll get experience, because Preslov's walls are already shot. Done. Okay, two turns until that modern armor core is done. We can finally do something with that city, other than build a tank. Let's get that rice farm improved, and once again, we're gonna we're gonna use our airport to send this builder over to the other continent. We've been doing that a lot. Any religious units? Yes, there is. Excellent. Are you? You're a chaplain. Crap. I need something better than a chaplain. Got a martyr here. Move the guru here. Hang on. Do I have any other religious units in the area? You are a pilgrim. I don't need a pilgrim. But the martyr I could potentially use. Let's get you up here. And we're going to start hitting this Inquisitor with everything we got. And then I'm going to use the guru in a second to heal both of those units. And maybe we can finish that Inquisitor next turn. It would be huge, absolutely huge, if we won this religious combat here, because this is surrounded by cities that need that spread to happen. Okay, there's that. Modern Armor Army. Oh, cool. I can ride down here and finish off another one of the units. Didn't see that. Let's go ahead and finish off the other guy, then. Hell yes! Okay. Again, more more and more war weariness for Harold Hardrada. He's probably going to want peace as soon as this war is... It's available in two turns. He is going to want peace soon. Let's get this helicopter up that direction. Ah, we've got a Norwegian mechanized infantry corps near Vyadapura, so we might need to bring the helicopter back down to deal with them. And a Norwegian settler, actually. And capture that easily. Alright, so this is a missile cruiser armada that's been sitting off the coast of Umbuila for a while. Anything we can do with them? Not really. Well, actually, yeah. 
I can bring them around and potentially fire on these guys in a few turns, so we'll see what happens there. Do we have mul- oh we do, we have multiple missile cruisers. I forgot all about these- these units being out here defending this city. They've been there forever, but I've had them on standby, so... You just forget they're there. Maybe in future- I'm sure there are some mods that do this already. I know there's a unit list mod that supposedly does something like this, but um... Maybe in- in future actual releases of Civ 6, one thing that they'll add is... Something that helps you keep track of, hey, you've got this unit that you put to sleep, like... Something that in a really organized way says... You know, helps you look at your full army and see what you, um, in, in particular, like, even in a separate screen from looking at your full army, is really dedicated to helping you find units that have been set aside and maybe even forgotten. Okay, so they are firing on that ship, but the ship should survive the same- ooh, close. So I guess Namsos didn't fire on that other one. Okay, interesting. They are attacking... that Inquisitor. Ooh. Really? Fan-freaking-tastic. Alright, so Mahayana just got a big boost in this area. That's a smaller city, too, so that's useful. Alright, in one more turn, as soon as I go through the, the next round of uh, orders here, I will be able... Let's go ahead and back you off, and I'll promote you to... Let's give you Embalon. And have you attack again. Yeah, in one more turn I'll be able to make make peace with uh, Harold, and I think I should be able to do it pretty easily. And it looks like I've got a new... I've got enough for another Apostle, so let's do that. And I do have enough to go ahead and purchase... Let's just do a Barracks outright here. Followed by an Armory, that'll be done in just one turn. Har Harley is an absolute production god right now. Imagine if we actually got to build Petra in that city the way that we meant to before... frickin' Victoria took it from us. It's annoying. Alright, so Luxmana. That's right. So I kind of want to use you just to sabotage production, I suppose. I could really mess with. Let's send you to Hatusa. Could mess with some of these remaining Norwegian cities. And then this builder, uh, we're, we're going to send you to an airport? I think we were. Let's put you over here. We keep sending builders out to the new world, which makes perfect sense. One more turn, we can finally do something with that guy. Can't wait. It's been forever. Now maybe both these guys will get promotions. That would be nice. Not quite. Not quite. Alright, so you have one more spread. If I if I use you now, I will lose an Apostle in the area. So I think what I'm going to do is swap these guys. And then we'll have this... First of all, you're, you're our debater, that's right. So I have this debater in position to attack this Inquisitor. Major victory if I attack him now. And, oh wait, holy crap! What are you? You're a martyr? Hang on, we're going to attack with this unit first. I probably should have moved another Apostle up to do a flanking bonus. Maybe I can move this one up. No, I can't because of the encampment. But I think we can kill this Inquisitor. Please kill the Inquisitor. Yes! Okay, we are making progress. Chipping away at Germany's religious hold at their eastern cities. I, I feel like we are still going to have to probably go to war with Germany, but until I'm at peace with Norway and I've settled that conflict and can have all my units on a front line, I'm not going to worry about it. And then one thing we can do is we can ride in and we can we can kill their religious units and reduce their influence that way. If we can just overwhelm their armies fast enough to where they can't stop us from getting to their religious units, should be pretty straightforward. If I make moves smartly. Which can be a big if sometimes, I know. Alright, so this chaplain... Where should I have you? I guess up there's that bug again. Let's put you up here, and you are a martyr. Let's actually put the chaplain over the holy site. Whoa, we did... What just happened? Did I just order... <sighs> I didn't mean to do that. But I guess I'll go ahead and order this attack too now. I really didn't mean to do that. I, I don't know why it, it did that either. I don't know what I clicked or accidentally clicked to cause that to happen. 
All right, you are a translator. So if I attack this Inquisitor with you... Yeah, see, they've got a lot of gurus in the area. That's the problem, is that the gurus are going to be able to stop me. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's use that guru's heal. We've got one heal left with you, three heals left with you. Okay, so... The religious unit that was up here no longer exists. You guys are a couple of chaplains, right? Yeah. I'm just kind of poking my head around to see if there's additional religious units in the area. I don't see any. You have an extra spread, though, so I can go ahead and spread at Pidna. And I'm thinking... Yeah, well, Mahayana doesn't have that much of a religious presence yet, unfortunately. But we're getting there put you up there and have the guru stand next to the two of you. There we go. Already 21 minutes into the episode. Where does the time go? All right, you can spread religion two extra times. So what we're going to do is just use you to come in and back up the other units that are whittling away using religious combat. Speaking of religious combat, we are closing in on that Inquisitor at last. Minor victory! Ooh, there's another Inquisitor, though. This is going to be tough. Without a, guru, without a Guru here to back up this debater, it's going to be hard. I might be able to swing it, though. We'll see. Siphon fun, please. Extra gold wouldn't be a bad thing. Alright, so this is the settler that we stole. Question is, where do we want to put a new city? We could put one down here. Ooh, look what's happened actually been settled. Do we have... I'm almost certain we have Dai. Yeah, we've got Dai right there. This is a nice location for a city, though, so I guess I'll go ahead and put them... Hmm... Yeah, I'll put you there. It's gonna be six turns from now. How's our victory timer looking? Culturally, we are... Wow. 120, roughly. 121 away. Let's go ahead and pillage this farm so that we heal up. And I can still attack. Excellent, but we won't actually kill the unit. Just weaken its ability to hurt us next turn. Oh wow, I can fire on this scout from all the way back here. How funny is that? I can also fire on this artillery from all the way over here. So let's take him out of the game. Promotion available for that guy. Great to see. Let's keep pillaging here. It's going to bring me additional gold in large amounts. Again, I don't really need to fight. I don't need to kill a scout, but anything to bring war weariness to Harold, I will do. We're going to ride up on Bergen. We're probably going to take a little bit of damage getting that close, but that's okay. Oh, we actually didn't kill the artillery. Okay, well, dang it. Let's bring you all the way down here, and we can pillage that next turn. Actually, I can attack the city right now, but I'm not going to. The city might be able to do a good amount of damage to me, actually. That's okay. Let's ride down here. We'll pillage that stuff next turn. We're just going to pillage everything we see. Oh, cool. We can actually attack with this guy. Bring our jet back into the action. We have some um, stealth bombers that are building, too, at a couple of different cities. So I'm going to continue to focus on building those where I need to. Let's go to the next turn. All right, just kidding. No, we won't. Let's, first of all, once again move a new builder over to the New World. And the very next turn is a pretty significant one because this will be our chance to make peace with Harold. And I'm going to try before the end of the episode. I want to see what happens. All right. Uh, Alexandria Prothasia. All right, you're finally close enough to cleanse it. That's good. Interesting. Get you over there, and we'll pillage that soon. I can airlift you too. Very, very good. Let's plop you down right there. And go to the next turn, please. Okay, yeah, they've got... I'm... I might be about to lose this apostle. Holy crap, I survived. How in the hell did I survive? 
I probably won't survive past the next turn. All right, they just, they're sacrificing their units against my tank. More power to you. If you want to give yourself more war weariness, Harold, go ahead. See, that is a decision that a player wouldn't make right there. Like, <laughs> let me throw a unit that will, that will clearly die after I already have all the war weariness that I could possibly have. Unless there's some policy or some, I can't remember if there's something that a player can do apart from being Alexander to keep from getting war weariness. I don't think you get as much war weariness when you're in a defensive war, do you? I need to look at the rules for that. I'm not as clear on it. Alright, so still some religious conflict going on up here. Interesting, that Inquisitor attacked my Apostle, and now, once again, but they did use a Guru to heal one of the units in the area. But, so far, it's my religion that's gaining influence. Despite everything. Very nice. Alright, so before I do anything, because we're at the end of the episode, let me... Well, first of all, let's check the victory progress. 608 of 717. See, this is the issue. I ran into this when I was doing the series previously. Um, for those of you who might be watching for the first time, uh, essentially I recorded several episodes, 41 through I think 45, weeks ago when I wanted to bring this series into the 9am slot. And then things just kind of got hectic, plus at the end of that, like 45, I kind of got... Um, there were a few episodes that I just felt like were kind of meh, and um, I didn't feel good about putting them on the channel. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't do that very often. I'm not that picky with my content, but sometimes you just feel like, eh, I wasn't really feeling it the last few episodes, and I think it's going to show. So I never put those episodes up. And so I have actually experienced, to a certain extent, I might make some comments from time to time as I wrap this up, saying, oh yeah, that happened before, and that's what I mean uh, when I say that. So let's go ahead and check on Harold. Let's make peace. Actually, hang on. So you have lots of Wolverineus. You should be willing to give up a lot. Namsos, Skian, Sarpsborg are your three New World cities. <sighs> Namsos, Ski... Oh, good. He is willing to give them up. Sarpsborg. Actually, he might be willing to give up more. What's he willing to give up? If he's willing to give up more, let's see what we can get out of him. We could potentially get... Um, Bergen, Songdal, Christians, and Song and Christiansand from him. Maybe. Bergen, Songdal, and Christiansand on top of Skian, Sarpsborg, and Namsos. Okay, let's try this. Yep, he's willing to give me all of them. The only question is, will he also give me all of his... Oh, okay. Yeah, he's that desperate. Because we've been slaughtering his armies. I haven't lost... Okay, yeah, he's not, he's not going to do that much for me. But... We don't have any chocolate, I don't think. So, yeah, give me some chocolate, please. Yeah, we don't. We legit do not have chocolate. Surprisingly. Do I not have... Li yeah, I have incense. There's incense. I have salt. I have whales. I have... Do I not have cosmetics, though? No, don't have cosmetics. Give me cosmetics, please. Give me your cosmetics. All right, and then we are going to... Let's see how much gold per turn we can get him to give us with those things included in the deal. It was shortly... It was like right around 200 that he was like, screw you, dude. Yeah. So 210. Let's try, let's try 215. Let's try 217. Let's try 219. All right, so 218. Okay, 708 gold, all of his gold. All, or a lot of his month, of his, uh, not monthly, but per turn income. And then Namsos, Skian, Christiansand, Sarpswerk, Sondal, and Bergen. All of those cities. Except deal. Awesome. How many times in this series have we done those grand peace accords? This is why I can't wait. I mean, you guys have already seen me playing Rise and Fall for several episodes, but I haven't played it yet as of this recording. And I just, I can't wait for the deepened loyalty mechanics and, and um, ways of flipping cities in Civ Six. All right, so let's go ahead and establish an embassy. Oh, he, he doesn't want to. Never mind. Okay, so we have just taken this entire border from him, I think. 
yeah, Songdal and Christian Song now belong to us. And we also took Bergen from him, so we have a little bit more of a front line going. He still has a plane in Bergen. It's annoying when that happens. But we also took all of his new world cities, which is really quite nice. It now gives my apostle the opportunity maybe to get the hell away. Maybe. Nope, he won't be able to get away. Damn it. Ugh. <sighs> I tried. All right. Well, we're 30 minutes into this episode. I will stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to um, kind of get our units that were on the front line against Norway up into... Also, let's make sure we still have a Norwegian majority. We should. No, we don't. How do we not? Did that change the math on the majority? I guess it did. It did. It changed the math. So we need to send some religious units back in. We actually just... Oh, man. I didn't think about that. I think... All we really need to do, though, is get Hattusa and Oslo, because we, and Nidaros. I think these cities are close to tipping. And as soon as we get those, let's look at the religious lens really quickly. Yeah, we, we just need to get, like, a couple of apostles in here to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of conversion, and we'll have Norway back. That won't be an issue. Um, but then we can focus on Germany militarily, and, um, I think we're probably going to go to war, have an all-out war with Germany starting in... Probably the next episode. I need to position units for a few turns, so that might take most of one episode. I need to kind of reorient and do a little bit of housekeeping, but most of my housekeeping is done. We've we've got really good amenities in place. We have the Estadio de Monacana. Things are things are going well. So I just need to take some of Germany's territory away from them. I need to have in order to really win the religious victory, I need to shrink the amount of territory they have, I think. So I'm gonna try and do that in the coming episodes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at, well, right now, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.